benzoyl peroxide. Active ingredient for proactive steps 1 and 3. But what the heck is it anyways? Benzoyl peroxide can be found in hair coloring and teeth whitening products, but it's mostly used to treat acne. It goes under the surface of the skin, where all the oil builds up to cause acne, and dries it up from the inside out. Proactive uses what they call a combination therapy. After washing your face with soap and water, you apply the renewing cleanser. This contains benzoyl peroxide. After washing this off, you dab on the revitalizing toner with a cotton ball. Once this is dry, you apply the final step, repairing lotion, which also contains benzoyl peroxide. This is the chemical structure for benzoyl peroxide. It contains 10 hydrogens, 14 carbons, and 4 oxygens. Its ratio, simplified, is 7, 5, 2. Because benzoyl peroxide only contains carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, it's a carbohydrate. Benzoyl peroxide was discovered in 1920 by Jack Breitbart, created to treat acne. Nowadays, it's created by treating benzoyl chloride with barium peroxide, using this formula. It's also been called dibenzoyl peroxide. Many of today's acne treatment products use this chemical. These products generally contain trace amounts of benzoyl peroxide, ranging anywhere from 2.5% to 5%. This is because benzoyl peroxide is highly flammable. Anyways... Benzoyl peroxide has been known to cause skin irritation, and it should not get in your eyes, mouth, or nose. During a 1977 study, 76% of the patients showed an adverse reaction to benzoyl peroxide. The product used contained 5% to 10% of pure benzoyl peroxide. Studies are currently being conducted to see whether or not using benzoyl peroxide will affect pregnancy. The bonds holding oxygen atoms together in benzoyl peroxide are weak, thus giving off free radicals. Free radicals are atoms, ions, or molecules that have unpaired electrons. These unpaired electrons are highly reactive and are known to cause chemical reactions. For a human, this results in erythema, or reddening of the skin. Excessive use of benzoyl peroxide is equivalent to going out in the sun without sunscreen. It accelerates skin aging and slows the natural healing process. It has also been linked to cancer. The free radicals promote tumor development in skin. In 1995, the FDA, or Food and Drug Administration, moved benzoyl peroxide from a Category 1 level, meaning safe, to a Category 3 level, meaning safety uncertain. These results are from 52-week experiments done on lab mice. Remember, this is all based off excessive usage. If you use the dosage required, then you should be fine, unless you have an allergic reaction to it, or you're just generally unlucky. pretty much covers everything so I guess we'll just wrap this movie up. Thanks for watching!